I don't know exactly how to start these vlogs about the depression and the anxiety, the borderline personality disorder and all that. I don't know how, where to even begin. I don't know where to even go. Um, I, I guess we'll just roll through it and just see um today was a little bit hard um i had to go to the er because i wasn't feeling good again <laughs> um and i got some news about my concussion and what's going on there and i won't really share that just yet um but i think with me trying to share like you know what's going on with me and my struggles and you know, just sharing what's going on, and I think doing these vlogs um, to kind of show people what suffering from depression is like, and borderline personality disorder, and everything else. I think there's going to be some people who will get the wrong idea, who feel I'm probably just trying to do it for attention, and that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do. And my goal for these blog for these vlogs, um, so that everyone knows moving forward. Um and the goal for these is to show people what it's like. Because me and my therapist discussed it. There's no one out there that's willing to kinda show what's going on. Um So yeah, I'm just trying to show, you know, this is the reality of depression, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, in fact, something that kind of highlights it a little bit that I want to read, it's a monologue that a friend had gave me. And this one was written by somebody who, you know, suffered from depression and you know, and what she says about it, you know, it's like, you know, that's kind of true. And it starts, you know, where now those stars up there in the sky have saying, staying power. I can always count on them. I can always look up and know they'll be there for me. The stars on earth burn out too quickly. They have a moment where they shine so bright and then poof, they're gone. A memory. Sometimes not even that. But with the stars in the sky, I know they'll be there night after night, always there for me to make a wish. I make wishes all the time. I watch for the first star each night and say, star light, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish my might have the wish I wish tonight. I always make the same wish. I can't tell you what it is, then it might not come true. I really want to, it would change my life. So I go to wishing wells with lucky pennies, those pennies you find that people have lost. I'm lucky for them, lucky for me. Then I toss them into the wishing well in front of the old museum, and then I toss them in the fountain at the mall, each time making my wish. Have you ever wanted anything so badly in your life, so badly that you can't imagine your future without it? I would be so sad if my life wasn't different, if things didn't change, if I was still stuck here in this life, but I won't stop wishing. I can't. I don't want to be left with nothing. I want some meaning, a reason things my life has turned out this way. I want the suffering to be worthwhile. I suffer every day and you don't even see it. You don't see the hurt inside me, do you? But it's too much to hold inside anymore. I can't handle it. I'm going crazy. The fear is crippling me. I have to drag myself out of bed and force myself to live each day. Sure, I put on this happy face. I bet you think I'm pretty cheerful. No one cares to see the pain under my skin. The pain that's ripping me and tearing me apart. This is what people live with when you suffer from depression day after day. <laughs> and it's hard because people don't want to see you're suffering. They don't want to see the pain. But I had bottled it up for so long. When this all started, I had bottled it up for so long. And I 
get it from people. <laughs> the people that I should have gone to. And then the one person that you would have thought you could so easily go to just rips you apart and tells you to shut up. Tells you they don't want to hear it. And you feel like you can't go anywhere with it. Yeah, no one to speak to. That you're alone. Because your other friends don't want to hear it. And that's the hard part. When you feel like there's no one to go to. Or no one to turn. Or no one to understand. I'm lucky now that I have... One, maybe two people I can talk to about if I get depressed. And I made a promise to one of them. And if I did get upset and depressed, I would let him know. In fact, I might text him after this and let him know I'm pretty upset. Well, I didn't expect the first one to be me sobbing and crying. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, okay, so. So... To talk about what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow, Patrick's coming back home. Yay. Um, if people haven't followed, I'm finally happy that I can put this out there. Patrick and I have been dating since. Friends. Uh. Well, we finally posted on Facebook yesterday, or the day before. Um, no, it was yesterday. Um,. But, 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 uh, we'd actually been dating for a while before then. And, you know what? I just don't know. We will have to, <laughs> we need to figure that out. Um, I don't know. But, you know, the awesomeness of it is, is that he's the one person I can go to when I'm really depressed and really upset. And... I told him about these vlogs and I didn't really get an exact opinion or answer from him, but, you know, hopefully these will help someone, you know, even if it only helps one person. I really just want to do these to try to help people and try to show people. It's like, look, <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is a reality. And I still have the scars on my arm from where I cut myself from ages ago. And you, you probably can't see them. No. I'll have to see if I can get a picture of them and show you. But anyhow, I should probably be getting to bed. It's probably getting late. Anyhow, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And I'll let you know how our reunion goes. I can't wait to see him. It's been a long couple of weeks. Bye, guys.